Welcome to our lecture online and now let's try the technique on a falling object. Let's say we go to a certain cliff or a certain top of a building, we drop a ball, the ball hits the bottom after two and a half seconds, what is the height from which it was dropped? So let's draw a velocity versus time graph. So the vertical axis is velocity, horizontal axis is time. And so it would look something like this, it would be constant acceleration and after a certain amount of time, 2.5 seconds, the time was in seconds, the ball would hit the ground, and at that point we will have reached a final velocity, V final. And of course the area underneath that curve represents the distance traveled, which would be the height of the path, the height of the, the falling drop, uh, falling ball. So the area is equal to one half, the base times the height, which is equal to the height dropped from, that the ball dropped from the top of the building. I'm going to use a different H there so we don't get confused. This H is not equal to that H. This H is the height of the triangle right here. And uh, since we're looking for that, let's plug in the numbers that we have. So this is equal to one half the base, which is two and a half seconds, times the height, which is still not known. So since we don't know what the height is of this triangle, we can't yet find the total area, thus the height from which the ball is dropped. So what we can do here is look at the second part of what this tells us. We know that the slope of this graph represents the acceleration. And since it's a dropped object, the acceleration should be 9.8 meters per second squared. So the slope, which is equal to the rise, the rise divided by the run, the rise would be the the difference between the initial and the final velocity, since the initial velocity is zero, the final velocity would be V final, and the run would be the 2.5 seconds, and we know that the slope has to equal 9.8 meters per second square. This tells us that V final is equal to 2.5 times 9.8, so V final is equal to 2.5 times 9.8 equals 24.5 meters per second, 24.5 meters per second. Now that we know the final velocity, we can now go in here, plug it in for the height, so now we know that the area is equal to one half times the time, 2.5 times the height, which is 24.5, so the area, which is the height from which the ball is dropped, is equal to 0.5 times 2.5 times 24.5 is equal to 30.6 meters and that is equal to the height from which the ball is dropped. So again using this graphical technique understanding that the area underneath the curve is equal to the distance traveled that the slope is equal to the acceleration using those two parts of the graph we can easily solve for this particular problem and that's how we do that.